Chrome OS 130 is here, and as always, I'll show you the latest features for your Chromebook. If you use your Chromebook's microphone for audio recording or video calls, you can now activate the so-called studio microphone in the settings under device and audio. This allows you to enhance the audio quality of your built-in microphone to sound like a professional studio setup with the help of AI models, advanced equalization, detail reconstruction and room adjustment are offered so that an enormous difference in quality can be achieved when recording with a microphone. Chrome OS 130 now also includes an AI-supported recorder app to go with the studio microphone. This has speaker recognition, a content summary, and even title suggestions based on the content of the audio recording. Since this is of course a data protection issue, you must first confirm that you agree to the speaker recognition and AI analysis of the spoken word after opening the recorder app via the launcher. After your audio recording, you'll also need to download a 2GB Gemini update so that the recorder app can transcribe your spoken text correctly. However, please note that transcripts with fewer than 150 words are not currently supported. Speaking of Gemini, I can't avoid highlighting the downsides of AI and Gemini at this point. Maybe you've already heard, but Google Gemini sent a 29-year-old student from Michigan a very disturbing message. The fact that Gemini wrote such a message is actually ruled out by filters and rules, so it's all the more surprising that the user was able to elicit such a message from Gemini anyway, thereby illustrating the danger of a malicious life of its own for AI. Just a few months ago, Gemini users worldwide were irritated by the fact that they had implemented a so-called woke filter in Gemini. Originally, the developers of Gemini wanted to use it to influence the results by showing the full range of cultural phenotypes in the results, which would have meant that ethnic minorities would have been more strongly represented. However, this has led to historical facts being rewritten without further ado, with Gemini displaying not only historically accurate representations, but also, let me say, rather unlikely scenarios when you imagine a typical couple in Germany in 1820, for example. For the Google Gemini team, this was of course a disaster and has meant that people can no longer be displayed in Gemini to this day. What I find concerning here is that Gemini, instead of being trained exclusively on historical facts, is also influenced ideologically and politically, which always carries the risk of abuse. Please feel free to comment below if you would like to see a dedicated video on the dangers of AI. Now let's get back to the other new features of Chrome OS 130. You can now change the brightness of your keyboard backlight in the settings without activating a flag by going to device and keyboard and inputs and moving the slider for keyboard backlight brightness. You can also quickly and easily create tasks in a to-do list on top of your Google Calendar and check them off as you complete them so that they then disappear from your open to-do list. If you want to learn about many more new features of your Chromebook, then watch my video about Chrome OS 129 on the left. If you want to learn about 10 useful websites that you should definitely know about, then click on the video on the right. And I'll say, thanks for watching and goodbye until the next video.